I always dated girls thir- uh, 10 years younger than me, so. Dude, it's recording. I don't give a shit. <laughs> she knows everything, bro. <laughs> oh, that's right. Huh? I mean, like, you did like like them, like, you know, younger than you, not younger girls, but a little bit younger than you. <laughs> younger than me, yeah. Yeah, not, you know, I think we're alone now. <laughs> I hope we're alone now. I hope so, too. Because, uh, <laughs> Dude, I had, I had a dream about, about Popeye Saverio. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude, it was not good. I scared the <laughs> shit out of me. I woke up like, like, oh, my God, you dude. Your chon chon or what? Yeah, dude, uh, he, he was demanding, too. He doesn't know how to romance anybody, nah. dude. Well, on, on the other the other show that I'm on, we're talking about having him as a guest. And I was like, oh, that'd be great. And then I fucking had a nightmare about it. Like, he would come in and just fucking just try to rail me right Jesus. there. And it's like, uh. Yeah, many. yeah, they can't have that. And then I was like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? Um, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna kind of fuck with him the whole time he's in there and just be like, oh yeah, dude, like I'm such a big fan. Like, I bet you get this quote all the time and then I'll give quotes from speed and not from, from, from buddy, yeah, buddy. I'll just give like, just quote speed <laughs> over and over again. And when he says, yeah, mostly I get from, I'm like, I've never seen it. <laughs> I got like tattoos all over my arms and shit. Like, oh, I've never, never seen that one, bro. I, if I was there, I'd be like, oh, he knows it as bound by honor. Oh, you can come, <laughs> dude. We just, yeah. Oh. And then, you know, what if he corrected you? What if he said, give me some chun chun? <laughs> like, that would be tight. Yeah. I'm sure that's the one, that's a quote that he thinks you're going to say. Right, right. And you're I'll like, be, oh, my favorite quote, dude. You're like, like you're really intense. You're like, and he would, yeah. I, I don't even know what the hell he says in speed. I think he says one thing is uh, like, uh, don't let it go below 55. Yeah. <laughs> it's all, just do that, dude. <laughs> Oh, oh fuck! I'm trying not to cuss anymore. Oh fuck! And, and <laughs> I'm trying. I think maybe I'm gonna start a tip jar or something like. A, oh, hey, please do. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna need it to go to to, to Vegas. Yeah, I almost said San Francisco, but uh, that's a whole different story. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Are you uh, you ready to get down? Oh, I thought we were already. No, 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 no! I say, I say, let's get into it. Oh, okay. Let's get into it, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's do it. I can't wait to see that vato. Oh, God. oh, not like that. Oh, like I want to, <laughs> I want to make out with him. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Yeah, no, man. he looks like my mom, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? You're like, he looked like he just got done doing a uh, glamour shot. Yeah, thing. dude. That, that yeah, yeah that, he was wearing that, that. Yeah, that, that, sh- that silk shawl looking. Yeah, thing. yeah, he was wearing that. I go, hey, I go, Narcisa, you look like my mom when she had glamour shots because his makeup was on point, bro. Like he just left JC Penney's and got that done, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, bro. You ready? I'm ready. Live from Hollywood, California. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're listening to the Phil and Motsky Show on Not Your Average Radio. All right. Phil and Motsky Show right here on Not Your Average Radio. I am Motsky. And right next to me is the one and the only Phil Medina. What's up, brother? Uh, well, that didn't work. That's all right. <laughs> We Wait. do that. We add it later. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you. They left. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gone. And just like that. Yes. And have, have you seen the, Is it called Just Like That? The HBO Sex in the City thing? I watched an episode, and I watched the, the lady let her husband die, and I was like, nah, I'm not the same for me. <laughs> and I just, like, I changed it. I was like, yeah. this is stupid. Yeah. No, it, I, never, I never seen Sex in the City. Really? Never. Yeah, I used to have a big old thing for, um, <laughs> seriously, a big old thing for uh, <laughs> for uh, Kim Cattrall. Oh. Yeah, you need to hire? No, 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 I'm good. Oh, for Kim Cattrall. I always thought Kim Cattrall was hot. Uh, remember, she, do you ever see Mannequin? Oh my God! Yes. I love that yes. show back in the eighties. Oh, dude! Yes, Mannequin was. Um, oh my God! Uh, that I remember. My grandma took us to go see that. Jesus! And she's like, "What are we gonna watch, Miko?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh, don't worry about it." <laughs> the, the guy, did you want to go see that? Sh- that oh yeah, I oh, did. You guys went to go see that movie. Yeah, she. We, uh, well, she thought we were gonna go see uh, Fifel. An American Tale? Five goes west. Five yeah, yeah, yeah. goes west. That vato, yeah. yeah. She thought we were going to go see that. That's she was right. all like, oh, yeah, I'm down. Let's go. Oh, I think you're going to see Troop 9- 90210. What was that? Remember? Troop Beverly Hills, yes, bro. Yes, oh, Troop Beverly Hills. Dude. Yes. Dude, Troop Beverly Hills. Oh, such a. What happened to those kind of movies, right? dude? Those good, wholesome movies. <laughs> I don't know how wholesome they were, dude, <laughs> but I, I do know that. Um, I just really, really loved uh, Mannequin. Yeah. And Kim Cattrall was just like, she was the shit on that. 
Was she the mannequin? She was the mannequin. Oh, wow. Uh, her and uh, uh, Andrew McCarthy. So for you uh, people that were that are younger, than, like in your 30s and below, uh, Mannequin was a movie in the early 80s of this mannequin. This dude falls in love with the mannequin or some shit, huh? Yeah, he falls in love with the mannequin. Yeah. And the mannequin is... Um, it becomes like, it, it, like it turns into real life or something? Turns like into real... Pinocchio? Re- yeah, like Pinocchio, bro. Yeah. Just like Pinocchio. And uh, and remember that the, the theme song was... Uh, let's see if it'll play. Because Apple Music sometimes is, can be whack. You know what I mean? Remember she was on his motorcycle and people were like, look at that weirdo, because she's he's the only one that can see her. Yeah. And then he's like rolling around with an old school sex doll dude. <laughs> I feel bad if that thing would have uh would have hit the ground, bro. Instant toothpicks, dude. Just they would have Jesus. <laughs> I wonder what he would have saw. Oh <laughs> he would have saw a mess. Yeah. <laughs> the blood and guts. Like, dude, I just saw a bunch of I just saw a Toothpicks. fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It's a uh, roadkill. Yeah, that's what he goes, oh my god, I can't believe this is what we saw. And it's like, I, I, just, I just saw firewood, bro. It's nothing. <laughs> just like Shallow How. Remember that movie? I've never seen that You've movie. Never seen that movie. I'm not. A, I'm not a, a Black Jack. A Jack Black fan. I'm not, dude. I, I just. How about, a, how about a Jack? Jack Jack comic Jack Jack. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a fan either, bro. Oh can't find him, dude. I'm gonna put him on a milk carton you soon. You should, bro. Hey, how about he be off himself? Ah, oh, cabron! Oh, no, don't say that. He's gonna be firewood, bro. <laughs> what if he was a mannequin? What if he never? <laughs> we're all like, hey, look at our assistant Jack. <laughs> That's why everybody laughed, bro. Yeah, we're like, he's not that funny. Oh, yeah, people were like, well, you guys are just weirdos. <laughs> no wonder. There's the rep. Now I get it. Now it all makes sense. Jack was never real. Yeah. Uh, we're like, hey, what the hell? These, what's wrong with them? And they're, they're thinking, what the hell's wrong with them? <laughs> just like walking around with this little bunch of lumber. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I think it's. I think, well, no, he smelled real. Uh, we, <laughs> <laughs> we shared a hotel room once. Oh, yeah, oh no, no, no. He made hey. sure. It's so far. I've never seen anybody sleep with the blankets up against their chin, dude. I was like, I'm not going to rape you, you white bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, did, you say, did you share the same bed? No, oh. we have done that. Who? You and I. Ah, ah get out of here. Uh, <laughs> I thought she knew everything. I don't. Uh, I don't recall. I've only shared a bed with with you, Papu, Chamar, and Eloy. That's it. Oh wait, who else? Is there really want I ever share a bed? No, not no, no. We haven't. Did Manny Maldonado? No. Nah, dude, just just you guys. Ah, uh, that's it, bro. But but you and I, we woke up like they did on um. What was it called? Uh, fucking planes, trains, automobiles. They're like, where's your hand between two pillows? And you're like, those aren't pillows. Well, don't move it. Well, my butt cheeks. <laughs> nah, push to the side. That night, I slept so good. When we slept together? Yeah. It, oh. it, 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 in El Paso, right? Was it yeah, El Paso? Dude. Yeah. Well, we were tired, bro. <laughs> yeah. I said, so good. You were, like, you were like hugging me with like a little, like a little bear hugging me. Like it felt great. Bro. I remember. I just, I just remember laying there. And I shut my because I think I had been up for like 15 hours, dude. It was bad. I laid there and I looked over it, and Citric was on his phone. And I shut my eyes and opened him up, and four hours had passed by. That motherfucker's still on his phone, dude. <laughs> I was like, bro, what are you taking selfies? <laughs> like, <laughs> it was tough, bro. Those were the good old days, man. Yeah. I can't believe that, bro. That, that's been years ago. I, I can't believe it. We used to, uh, we used to, dude. I don't know. It's so funny because everyone now is like, "Hey, are you still, uh, you still performing all over?" And I'm, and, and I, I always feel kind of weird telling him, "I'm kind of winding it down. Uh, I'm not doing as much stand up as as I used to." And it's weird because we talk about that sometimes. It's, I don't know, man. I, I'm not saying I'm not taking bookings now. Please, that's not what I'm saying. All right. What I am saying though is, I think my attention is elsewhere. In the acting and the voiceovers, uh, stuff like that. I I don't want to take away from that. Comedy is fun. It, it, it was my life for 14 years. But I think it's time to, to start. I know when it's time to wind it down a little bit. Right. I think it's time to wind it down. Ah. And that's just me. I'm not saying I'm not taking bookings. I'm not saying I'm not funny. Right. I am simply saying that uh, you can book me. You can pay me. I'll come do your shitty show. You know, fuck. But, see, I cussed. 
God damn motherfucker. Right Fucking there. shit, son of a bitch. <laughs> Go wow. crazy. <laughs> yeah, you put your rent money in there. <laughs> wow. Here you go. You took your whole rent out on that. <laughs> You're like, yes, he did it. Um, <laughs> uh, no, and, and so, so yeah, I feel that way sometimes. I mean, do you ever get that? Like, I'm going to wind it down a little bit. I did. I winded it down for, what, two years? <laughs> for for what, the stand-up? Yeah. But did you want to give it up, though? Um... Yes, you did. You were, you were. I was, I was like. You had your full, your fill. Correct. I, I feel like that being, not that I, not that we're like super famous, but you know, we were well known. Um, always being like, I feel like you always, you're always on. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're always performing. Like no matter what you do, it feels like, oh my god, this is that. It, it, it gets exhausting after a while. So I, I felt like I needed a break. I, I, I get you, and because uh, I used to hate that going to the grocery store and having to take a picture with somebody. And to, and you know it still happens to this day. Oh man, let me get a picture. I'm like, I'll always do it because yeah. I told you one time that somebody told me no right. when I was a kid. So I, I I will always do it, but it's a little easier now not to be. I'm not so worried about it. I'm not worried about not performing. I feel that uh, this new avenue that I'm trying to explore, dude. I'm double represented. This is supposed to happen. I know that already. The stand-up thing, I, I, dude, that's and that's also, I think that's a younger man's game at this mm. point. Younger man or woman's game. Right. At this point, because, I mean, look, I'll be honest, I think I outgrew it. And this is a bold statement for me, still trying to get booked on shit. Right. Uh, Cha-ching! <laughs> <laughs> uh, still trying to, to get booked, and it's just, I feel, and it's okay. I'm not, of course. I'm not sad. I'm not sad like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? The last thing I want to do is be that 60-year-old comic who doesn't know that his time has passed. He's not relatable. He still goes up there and tells Sally Struthers jokes. Uh, talks about the newest episode of MASH. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. Right. Um, I refuse to be that guy. So now at, at 42 years old, a part of me is saying, eh, you did good. You, you made a couple bucks. You got your name out there. Now, what do you really want to do? And, and you've known me for years now. Acting has been something I've always wanted to do. Right. I was going to say that. Like, you, it's always been your plan is to kind of like, you know, not only do comedy, but go into the acting and the voiceover stuff. That's all I've ever wanted to do. And what you're doing now. Right. And, and that's <laughs> the thing is I asked for all this. Right. The only tough part is, and, and, and I'm glad that I can talk to you. I talked to Citric uh, because he has a, uh, he's done all of this stuff. My thing is that uh, with acting and, 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 and voiceover, it just show business in general. It's the hardest industry in the world to get into. It sucks. It's hard. It is only pleasurable if you like being kicked in the balls as hard as humanly possible, being told you're fat and your mother doesn't love you. Now come back tomorrow and we'll do it all over again. Right. Who wants that? I do. I'll, I'll, you can kick me again. Oh, I can kick you. No, no, not you. Oh, Fuck it. don't kick me. <laughs> 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 hey, come back again tomorrow. We'll do it again. <laughs> I'll do this all day. God damn, pal. <laughs> put, 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 that, <laughs> put it in the tip jar. We're good. <laughs> have, have you ever have you ever been kicked in the balls? Of course. Really? Yes. Like really kicked. Like um, I don't think I've been kicked in the balls. I remember one time when I was younger, I played soccer, right. and I got a soccer ball right. Ooh. Torpedoed into my nuts. You didn't wear a cup? No. Yeah. Just, you're like, ah, I'm 11. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> Those little bad boys aren't down there yet. <laughs> oh, yes, they were. Oh, they were. <laughs> that shit hurt. I was down for like 10 minutes. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was It was, It was. was horrible. The uh, <laughs> The worst pain I ever experienced was uh, Christmas 2002. I'll never forget it. Um, <laughs> I put my sister in a headlock. She was pregnant. And what she did was she put her, I had her in a headlock and I was like, ah, I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let you go. And she put her finger, her two fingers in her mouth, like got a bunch of spit on them and shoved them right in my mouth. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude. Oh my God. Then okay. as I'm a, uh, uh, dude, I'm gay. I'm throwing up, dude. That is the nastiest shit in the world. She gets the role that Christmas wrapping uh. is in. Now she's pregnant with, with Heather. Heather's in college now and all this. This is how it still is right there in the forefront of my frontal lobe. This bitch fucking grabs a roll 
of Chris, the, 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 just the, the cardboard roll. Right. Hits me right dead in the nuts Jesus. with it, dude. I'm wearing like these kind of pants. Not that I jog, but hey, they're comfortable. Right, right. Hits me. I'm wearing sweatpants. Sweatpants, yeah. Hits me dead in the balls, dude. I cried. Now I'm 23 years old on the ground. I'm ga- oh, yeah, you get hit hard enough, you start like gagging. No, I like, still have like, her spit like, in my mouth. Oh no, no, but you do that too. Oh, yeah. Like you feel it like right here in your stomach. You're like Ugh. It's the worst pain in the world. Getting hit in the balls is the worst thing ever. Uh did you ever hit yourself in the balls where you're bagging groceries? Uh, not, that, not that I can remember. I did that shit a lot of times, dude. <laughs> I'd be like the big cans of fruit cocktail, dude. Like, oh, and whoosh, pull a whap. <laughs> <I'm> like, oh! <laughs> you're, you're just all throwing that on the floor. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the customer's like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Oh, dude, that was the greatest thing ever, bro. That was well, not the greatest thing ever. It was just that like, people laughed. Yeah. You know, and that's and that's what I like to do. But like, like uh, Jim Carrey when he threw himself down the stairs. Oh. So people will laugh, so you keep hitting yourself in the balls. <laughs> That is, look at you now. Yeah, look at you now. You can't have kids, <laughs> you fat fuck. <laughs> and your testosterone level's weak. <laughs> Jesus. You got the testosterone level of a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> like, oh, God, leave me alone. Getting hit in the balls is definitely a lot of pain. I'd rather be punched in the face. Right, absolutely. But also what's a lot of pain is uh, your teeth. Have you ever had like a toothache? Oh. Toothaches suck. We had them at the same time. What? We didn't know each other. Oh, but, I, but after we talked about it, yeah, we, yeah. it was around the exact same. Yeah, an, an it, it was Thanksgiving wisdom tooth. Thanksgiving, yep, 2017 ish or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was the worst. Infected wisdom tooth is what I had. Yeah, me and too. And it is a motherfucker. I felt like someone had like a chisel and you just pounding it right into. It was a top right, so I felt like it was just going into my freaking skull. Yeah, yeah, top right, top right. Yeah. Oh, we should kiss. <laughs> Nah, not with your sisters, Baba. Nah, not with my sisters. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. When she hears it, she'll be like, ah, oh, fuck yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Give me a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, baby, que oh, I'll never forget the- that. No, she get she she hung yeah. up on you. Remember, and you yeah, were like, she did. you were a little worried, like she was gonna come down here. Yeah, and handle some how much shit. she's on her way. <laughs> she's, gonna, she's like, <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> she's on her way. <laughs> no, that is hilarious, dude. Yeah. I just think that, uh, yeah, so, so that is like getting kicked in the balls right. is is the worst pain you can experience. And that's why I, I equate that to being told no mm. by casting directors, by um, by uh, uh, companies. I was, I was um, closest I got was a national commercial. I think I even messaged you. I, I just got my first national commercial. This is great. Right. I was actually on hold for it. So on hold, you pretty much got it. Well, my agent was the casting director for it. What? So I'm like, I'm in. Right. I am in, in. Turns out that uh, he had to call me back and release me from the hold. And I go, what happened? And he goes, they went a different direction. Completely different. They wanted to go more of a, uh, a one way. And you didn't fit that way because they thought you were something else. That because you, you go both ways. Because I go both ways. Uh. <laughs> My bad. It's, why do you keep bringing up college, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I had to pay the bills. Um, no, so it was just, uh, it was that kind of thing, man. And and it was like, fuck, dude. And to, to, to have it in your hand and it be yanked out, it's like, god damn it. Because when I, when I do stand-up, I get pretty much whatever I want. I do this, and it's like, I just get shit on. I'm the new kid in town, right, bro, right. and nobody wants to give me shit. Well... You, you have to you have to not quit. That's the thing. And there's times, bro, I'm like, dude, I'm a fucking failure. Right. You can't think that way. You know what I was watching today? Um, there's, there's a documentary on Kanye West. Mm-hmm. Um, I was watching the, the first episodes out, um, and it basically is from the beginning of when he first started, like, you know, making a name for himself. And um, he, he even worked with Rockefeller, with Jay-Z yeah. and Dame Dash. He, he was doing the, the beats. And so he's like, all right, cool, cool. You know, like, here's my beats, but I also want to be a rapper. And they were just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they wouldn't take him serious, you know what I mean? And those were his buddies <laughs> because because he was making beats for them. Um, but we all know uh, Kanye is very hard headed, and he just never like, he, no matter how many times he was told no or like no, brushed off or no one gave a shit, like he kept going. And right. obviously, look where he's at now. But so, no matter how many times they tell you no, no, you because you're one yes away from. That's all it takes is one yes. Everything. You know, it's funny you mentioned because I was just I just heard this song the other day. Oh, you didn't think we can do it again. 
Who the fuck is Kanye West? Yeah. I knew who Twista was, and I just remember this song. No, I, anyway, <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 don't talk about it. <laughs> but he did all that. And this is a great song, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. But he's going to end up hurting somebody. Uh, <laughs> he is a psychopath, bro. Right. And uh, I feel bad. And, and, and maybe that's what you need to be to be successful. Is like is like crazy, you know? Uh, I think he's crazy for not letting go of his uh, of his ex. That's that's getting a little weird. Yeah. Like yeah, he's gonna end up looking like like OJ Simpson real soon. <laughs> like uh, he's gonna be getting chased down in a Bronco, bro. Like I, I I see this coming a mile away. This shit's getting. <laughs> this, is, this is getting weird, dude. Right, right. Now it's weird, but back then... The, no, back then we got it. Right. We got it back then, and I think Kanye is one of the most talented... Uh, who just puts out a white t-shirt that looks nothing? It's Hanes, bro. That's all that was. Right. And he charged 350 bucks for it, and people buy it? Yeah. And those shoes are hideous. But you got every little white kid buying those shoes, bro. I'm like, good, forget your money, bro. Right. But, man, so, so that's the whole thing, man. I, I just... Moving forward... Never backwards. Uh, moving up. Um, I don't think that outgrowing a stand-up career. And, and, and you know, you're going to have your, your critics say, oh, well, he's, he's not. He's going to stop because he, he didn't make it. Well, no, nobody makes it. I mean, the, the people that make it, hey, congratulations. But how do you truly make it? I made a living at this. Right. I did great. I did fine, dude. We, we made a lot of money doing stand-up. But now it's time to switch gears. And I'm not announcing my retirement on this show. <laughs> whoa, I'm, simp- whoa. I'm simply saying. Are you dying? No, no, no. no. Well, why do I always try to kill you on the show? I don't know. I'm really not dying. <laughs> That'd be like the worst shit ever, dude. Like, yeah. right? I get the call. Can you imagine I get the call and then you get the call? <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> I just think I no, but seriously, I think that uh, it's we are. Uh, it, it's a whole new time. Right. We're gonna be going into producing new shows. Which I, can we talk about that show? We yet? talked about which show? We haven't talked about Sunesta yet, have we? Oh no. No, yeah. why brought that up yet? Yeah, I think we should. So, anyways, uh, something that just just real quick, like you were saying, like people are gonna say um, we didn't make it or um, you didn't make it, whatever. Everybody's definition of making it is mm-hmm. different. Right. I think it was it Dave Chappelle. So I remember a comic uh, told his dad, like, this is what I do. For, this is what I want to do for a living. And his dad was just like, oh, like, the chances of you becoming famous and rich and da 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 da. And he was just like, no, I just want to make a living. Like, you know, like make regular pay. You know, just be comfortable. And do that, you know, just doing what I love. And then the dad's like, all right. Like, yeah, I can get behind that. You know, maybe you're a little delusional of, uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you said, right. You had your thing on mute. Hi, <laughs> Dios. <laughs> so anyways, so everybody's definition of, of making it is, you know, like you said, you lived, we lived many years on right. uh, on, on comedy and podcasting. I, I thought that it was, it's some of the greatest years of my life. Right. The great, I mean, I was able to leave a $75,000, $80,000 a year job and still make it. Right. In Southern California, I have headlined all the improvs. I have had the time of my life, but I need to be challenged more. And that's really what that comes down to. Right. I'm challenging myself because I'm not, I, I'm failing. I'm failing with the acting. Even though, like right now, I'm on a TV show that's streaming, uh, even though I've been in a movie that, that got awards. On Amazon Prime. On Amazon Prime, come on. And we, we were on that. And, show. Yes, we were. Thank you. <laughs> and, and I'm on Tubi right now with with Citric and, right. and, and the whole Ghetto Busters gang. Which, by the way, let me just say, Ghetto Busters. Have you seen it yet? I haven't seen it. Hilarious. Very funny. Concrete. Ricky Montez. Big Citric. They're the Ghetto Busters. Martin Moreno. Uh, Martin. That dude. Uh, a good friend of ours. Uh, myself. We have cameos in that shit. It is so funny. Didn't you almost kill him? Yeah, I pushed him in the truck, but <laughs> it's... Uh, have, you, have you seen the clips, though, right? I saw, yeah. I saw when you guys were filming it. Yeah, it's yeah. very funny, dude. It's it's back to, like, that 80s humor, 90s humor. Anybody that watches it would love this show. Right, right. Check it out if you can. Of course. Streaming now on Hubi. On Hubi. <laughs> <laughs> on that, Hulu's, like, yeah, on, on, on Hulu's cousin. <laughs> yeah, on Hulu, Hulu's cousin, Hubi. <laughs> Streaming on Tubi, Ghetto Busters. Check it out. Uh, I gotta make a promo video for them today. Oh, actually, yeah, because they were excited. I talked about it on the uh, on the radio this morning. Oh, cool. Yeah, they were like, "Oh shit, he oh, mentioned yeah. us." They all reposted it. Yeah, yeah I was I like, that. oh, God, "That's cool." I'm trying to get on season two, bro. Right, right. Um, so 
that's the thing. I'm, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm failing and you're not trying if you're not failing. You know, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, I said that last week, and I, right. had to, I had to. I actually, I don't even think I edited. I think that ah, fuck, this is gonna be too hard. I think you left that in there. Yeah, if you're if you're not failing, you're not trying. I am failing every day. I am trying every day, to the point to where I enrolled in school, to to learn how to be a better voiceover artist. It's the funniest thing. I, I it costs a substantial amount of money. I pay it, and he, the guy, we all did read throughs. There's ten of us in the class, and he goes, you. Phil, I gotta tell you, you just need to to believe the script. You're gonna not hit home runs, and I'm gonna help you get there. You gotta believe the script because you don't believe it, and it's gonna go come down to your acting. You'll be fine. Okay, cool. But now I'm like, I just gave this guy a chunk of change. Of course he's gonna tell me that. And then he got to the other girl, and he's like, I'm gonna get you a refund. You have zero talent. Oh my! You should not be in this class. <laughs> this is not for beginners. Jeez. And that's where you're at. Uh, you have no business in here. Go ahead and sign out, and I will make sure that the school gives you a refund. She's like, uh, 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 okay, <laughs> like, yeah, bye. <laughs> like, uh, but I felt bad because he did that in front of everybody. But I'm like, okay, well, why wouldn't he? This is no joke. Everybody paid their hard-earned money to be in this class, and she didn't have it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, so that gives me a little hope. Yeah. That I'm not. I mean, he wasn't just bullshitting me. He wasn't telling me some some garbage. Which, by the way, I think you need to take some acting classes. I really do. Because there's a bigger opportunity out there for you, too. Right. I believe that. Thank you, Dan. Uh, no, of course, man. I think you should. And and, uh, I, I'm, and I'm just putting it out there. Uh, Arrow Love Productions is the is the best acting school ever. I've, I've seen a couple of classes. I've been with my acting coach now for, shit, dude, a year. And he has helped me grow so much. I, I highly recommend it. I'll get you the info because right. you really need it. Um, just because there's so much opportunity out there. Why can't you be in Ghetto Busters? Right. Why can't you? Well, when we do our own thing, why? I mean, it'd be nice if you could really pick it up and run with it. I really believe in you. Thank you, Daddy. And we should fuck. Oh <laughs> Cha ching! <laughs> <laughs> that, that was it. He broke the goddamn chip jar. <laughs> Thirty-four. <laughs> Thirty-four. The first thirty minutes. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> dude, it's it's uh, so it's kind of crazy, man. Like we're uh, we got some stuff coming up that's uh gonna be good so i want you to tell them what what we're what uh what we're bringing to to uh the uh ventura county area it's a big announcement Tanessa? Yeah. oh yes so uh so i was thinking it's my birthday weekend i don't know if you know I that know that oh yes. should, we, should we promote it as my birthday show i think so yeah fuck it my birthday show at so Nesta Select in Camarillo. Yes. We're having a comedy show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the rim job. The rim job. Um, you guys are asking, what is Sonesta? Um, it's actually a company. It's a hotel company that uh, has been around for 80 years. But, but right now, everybody's like, hey, what the hell? Because because. Because I used to work for Marriott, right. um, and so and then the this company we used to be a Marriott. This hotel, this property used to be a Marriott. They turned into Sonesta. Um, they actually reached out to me, and they're like, "Hey, do you want to come over here?" And my first thing was like, "I'm gonna go from Marriott to a uh, unknown name brand." You know, like really, like no, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, you don't want to get there and find out it's a Motel Six, <laughs> right? No, not even Motel Six has been around forever. Like, yeah. it's a, well, leave the light on for you. Yeah, Monsky. exactly. An unknown brand. Like, I have no idea what's going on. So uh, while they were quote unquote courting me, I did do some research. Um, the brand Sonesta has been around for 80 years. Um, it was just really small boutique kind of a brand. I think it was a lot of most of it was on the East Coast, but I think they were they were preparing. Like like throughout the years, they were just saving up money, or I don't know how they got this money. COVID hit. All the Marriotts, all the hotels, like all the big brand hotels were tanking. So. So Sonesta went and bought a bunch of properties at a profit because everybody because they, they, they wanted to get rid of it, you know, all these That's smart. All these big brands wanted to get rid of their hotels because they weren't, you know, they're losing money left and right. So Sonesta grew like 300% during the um the pandemic. And already this year in um coming up, um they they they're, they're already they're already what do you call it? They're already forecasting they're going to grow like 30% more. Um it's only Jan well, it's February now, but they were saying that in January. Anyways, so a lot of growth, a lot of opportunity in this hotel. And, yes, I do work for them now. Um, I did take the leap, and I went from a big corporation as a Marriott, and now I'm with, with Sonesta uh, Hotels. That being said, 
Um, we are um, part of my my me being there is to help promote the brand, and by helping by doing that, we are going to do a comedy show. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. And what, one thing too, I mean, you leaving Marriott to go there. I mean, you moved up in positions. Yes. You, you did a lot of cool things. I mean, your paycheck. Every time you walk in the room now, you're just all like. Making it rain. I feel like a hooer every time I see you. <laughs> you're like, smack me on the ass. You're like, give me a water. I'm like, oh, a Benjamin. <laughs> uh, Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> Oh, Wesley. Wesley. Uh, hey, hey, what, what, I'll pay you. I'll be my, my butler. <laughs> I don't yeah, Dude, I'd be horrible at that. Bro. <laughs> I know. I'd be the worst butler in the world. <laughs> You'd be bro. chilling on the couch. You'd I'd sit on the couch with a maid, bro. <laughs> just like, uh, what have you guys been doing all day? Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like ringing my bell. Ding, yeah. ding, ding. Like, I need, I need service. Hey, 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 hey. Ring that motherfucker one more time. <laughs> I swear to fucking God. Hey, I'm, I'm busy in here. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm asking you, do you need anything? <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys need? Hey, bro, can you make some eggs? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, aren't you the help with the fuck? Uh, me, me, me and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the maid. And the maid were getting hungry, bro. <laughs> That's your guys' job. She's like, she's like, I better get to work. Like, oh my ah. god! <laughs> what? Oh, I'm the asshole. Not every, not ninety percent of maids are Mexican. My housekeeper's white. No, she's not. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> right? Nobody believes that no, shit. Fuck, no, she's not, bro. <laughs> uh, she's like, she could be my mom, dude. It right. might be. It might be. <laughs> uh, no, dude. Uh, <laughs> my, my, my my maid is my oh, mom. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no. Oh, wait, not that one. No, it's not that one. Uh, I think I changed them. <laughs> there, I didn't get rid of them. Jesus. All right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I did get promoted. I do make more money. I uh, have a higher position. And that happened in December. Next month in March, the raises in promo- the raises in, uh, in uh, w- w- um, bonuses are coming out. Oh, I know. In March. In my- next month. My birthday's in May. Okay. There's no reason you shouldn't buy me a, P- a PS5. There's Dude, no th- reason. Those motherfuckers are still a thousand something. Bro, I won the goddamn. Okay, no bullshit. I won the draw. I'll show you the email from, from PlayStation. I could get it direct from Sony. Uh, I had to sign into my PS account and everything right, right. on the PlayStation, verify the email. It's a process. Right. I get it. I'm like three ninety nine, bro. That's what it is. I just paid for those acting classes. I Jeez. could not get it, dude. So that is again the universe saying, "No, no, 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 and I don't need it. I think I just need to. <laughs> they come out with another one? Grand Theft Auto 6. Jesus. They haven't done a, sh- a Grand Theft Auto in six years. So it's t- I'm tired of killing the same people, dude. Right, right. I'm tired of picking up the same The same, <laughs> the same crack? The same cocaine? <laughs> killing the same drug dealers? Yeah, I'm tired of that, bro. Yeah, it I'm ready. Dude, it thing. does, dude. Yeah. And I just know. I'm tired. It's like killing Pablo Escobar multiple times. Oh, like, this my makes God, no sense. Dude. No, no. He was a good man. Dude. Yeah, a, I'm sure he uh, was. He is, he is the most <laughs> interesting man in the world. Hey, speaking about the most interesting man in the world, shout out to Z. Yeah, dude. Great interview last week. Great interview by Z, bro. Yes. Yeah. It's a gr- uh, I got p- nothing but positive feedback. Everybody's like, man, when is he coming back? Yeah. Um, actually, I think right now we might bring him back next week. Next week. Him yeah. and Sergio both. Right. His, and, uh, his business partner. Yeah. And yeah. All, all we do is we just talk and, and like fold them into the show. And yeah. it's just like, they did great, dude. They did really good. I want to get more in, into Z, though. Right. Well, not into him, but I want to. I want to. <laughs> I want to get. Jesus I want to. I want to. I want to know about his party life as a kid, as right. a younger guy, dude. Because I was very interested. I've known Z. For, we've known Z for years. Yeah. I know about stuff that that he's told me when we were when we were just hanging out about how his how he used to hang out back in the day. I want to know. I want all you guys to hear it too, because it's awesome. Right. This guy is like he seriously is like he's he's he really. I, I mean it. He is the most interesting man in the world. I mean that. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. And Sergio's cool, too. So we're looking forward to the interviewing Sergio. Oh, We've yeah. never interviewed him before. Sergio's a, a very, like, uh, I'm just going to chill. Yeah, he's, a, cool, he's the quiet thing. guy in the back. Yeah, he's the one that, like, I think I would call, like, at 3 in the morning if I really needed a favor. Right. <laughs> he just looks like that guy, dude. Yeah. Like, he's heard you. 
already on it. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> He's like so someone like uh, looks like he can take care of stuff. Like yeah. handles it, handles his business for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's uh, you know, but yeah. So uh, positive feedback with him. It was a great a great time having him on. Yeah. And uh, Z is just he's just so charismatic. He definitely. Is. And, and people just love that. Yeah, he was supposed to be on this week, but uh, again, he does have a few businesses to run, so he wasn't available. So yeah. As of right now, next week he'll be back. Yeah, scheduling conflict. Yeah. That'll suck. Apparently we have nothing to do. because No. Here. Losers. <laughs> well, I mean, you work. Yeah. And so Nesta. So by the way, I looked up that hotel, right? Right. Uh, dude, at that's they have a lot of properties. Yes. And I noticed uh, uh, San Diego. I noticed San Francisco. Um, nothing in Fresno. Uh, so I was like, well, that fucks no, There is one in Fresno. What? Yes. There's the Sinesta in Fresno. The GM over there is... Um, Start with a K, yeah. My boss, my boss's boss, she's like the area director. Right. Um. So, but again, there's not that many uh, Sonessas in the area, so she's in. Well, she's in charge of Fresno. Yeah. What's up with that rate, bro? I'm gonna go up there soon. Let's do it. Fam- really? It has to be friends and family, though. I can't give you the associate rate. What's the associate rate? That's like what, in area, what, like either your brother or sister, like right, immediate right, right. family gets the associate rate. Uh, Here, only associates get associate rate. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Tell them to hire me, but don't pay me. <laughs> I'll do something, dude. Yeah, just give me, give me something, bro. Yeah. You want me to come up with that? I'll make a bed. I know how to do the arrow uh, with toilet paper. Oh, there you go. I can do that, bro. I'll go to every room and make that arrow. Right. Well, you're the boss. Right. <laughs> oh, no, I do have bosses ahead of me. <laughs> can you imagine? I just made a, uh, uh, I just purchased uh, the uh, services of Phil Medina. He's going to go and now uh, be our arrow maker. Arrow. Like, what is that? Like, the, you know, the arrows that we, that are on the toilet paper. paper, he knows how to do that. So. Yeah. We, I, 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 uh, you know what? I wouldn't trust you though, bro. Uh, there's 150, there's 130 rooms, right? And, and you're in charge of doing all the arrows. Right. I know in a couple of those rooms you're gonna take deuces, bro. Like no, <laughs> no, no, it's not that. I can just tell you right by about probably room six, I'm gonna be fucking like bored. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like yeah. it's like gonna arrows. Doing, you guys start doing origami. Yeah, <laughs> these like little you know, little birds or something. Like wow, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, dude. Some of them I'll like put arrows everywhere, dude. And then, then I'll stop doing it when I'm really tired of the job. I'm like, I don't go to Fresno that much. I'm gonna, dude, the arrows are going to turn to dicks. Straight up dicks. Bro. And then I'm going to fucking draw a dick underneath the toilet paper. So when they move it, it'll be like, and they wipe their ass. But they had a dick in their ass, bro. <laughs> they, they wiped it with a dick. <laughs> That's a great idea. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to stay in your hotel and like draw a dick on the backside of the toilet paper. Jesus. They'll never know it was me. All right. Yeah, dude. It, it, so I... <laughs> Um. Anyway, congratulations. Uh, the show's going to be big. We've yes. got uh, comedian Jason Collings. Yeah. Tonight show, Comedy Central, BET Comic View. Camarillo, don't sleep on this show. Tickets are $25 uh, in advance. 75 at the door. Jesus. <laughs> hey, bro, fuck it. Get your tickets at the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Did we say 25 in advance? 20. 20 in advance? One day 25? I think we get 25 for Jason. Really? I think so. I don't want to go that much. I, 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 we'll talk. We'll talk. I, yeah. I think 25 is... 25? <laughs> in advance? Dude, it's Jason. Citric. Citric. You. Me. Denise. Yeah. You. That's a show, bro. That's a show. And and uh, we got to go... Remind me. We got to go look at the layout. Yeah. And... and uh, do you still have a speaker? Yes, I have the speakers. Okay, because my speakers suck now. I don't know what the fuck happened. What speakers? I have that Bose Tower. I think I lent, oh, it, I lent it out, yeah. and it has a short now. So oh, I, don't, I, I don't even know how to get that fixed. Oh, I have the. You know what? And I almost game. I almost was trying to get rid of them. Oh, no, please oh. don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know what? You never know. Right. You never know. If you want to store them, you can store them yeah. here so they're out of your way. Because I know uh, they're in your cubby. Yeah, and that I mean, is a. I, I saw I that cubby one time, and I'm like, oh, I'm, I would get stuck. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't need the stairs uh, and the, and and that, that weco right there. Yeah, on the break. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> nah, they're fine. It, it, every nobody nobody notices them except during Christmas. Cause that's where right. all the Christmas ornaments are at. Oh yeah, yeah underneath in that cubby. So you got to make sure you get there right after Thanksgiving to take them out. So yeah. Well, they're, they're all in the back. Is this like when my mom pulls out all the Christmas stuff and she sees them? Well, you're never going to use them. Give them away already. <laughs> and I was just like, you know what, Mom? I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm going to give these away. I was like, you know what? Toss them out. <laughs> if you'd have given them away and not called me first, I'd have been pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have just a little like, but you have a speaker. I know the fucker. I needed that. <laughs> no, I still have them. Oh, that's good. I think. Well, that's perfect then. Yeah. You oh, no, think? <laughs> okay, so one thing we don't have is a stage. Do we need a stage? We don't need a stage. Okay. That's, the, that's the best part. Spotlight? We need a spotlight. Oh, we can order one. 
<laughs> that's the difference now that I have a job and I'm right. making pretty good money. Uh, I just buy shit. Yeah, you just go on Amazon and just go fuck wild, <laughs> dude. I've noticed. <laughs> I'm like, hey, we need a couple microphones. And I'm like, eh, I'll buy them. I, I've, I've chilled out on Amazon a lot, dude. Because yeah. I, I have an Amazon credit card. Hijo, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. That, that. It's so weird, dude. Like around Christmas, it, it's got a, it's got a pretty high limit. Yeah. And I was buying everybody presents, dude. Like it was just like like well like my family, like my mom and dad got like a ninja, uh, uh, you know those those ninja foodies. Yeah. Oh, dude, like three hundred fifty bucks. Ah, no problem. Put it on the card. Put it on the card. Yeah, dude. You want to know what the fuck happened with that? It's still sitting in their in their extra bedroom. Oh my. God. They've never opened it. Yeah. Oh, we're in this contraption. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking leave it in the box So when you guys die I can just take it back Jesus Christ like, I'm just saying dude Don't fucking <laughs> waste my money Dude you should get them A record player or something that, that, that resonates with them I have one Yeah you should get some I, I No They're like oh remember this No cause now they, 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 Now they're all in their iPads Oh shit I got them iPads uh, Um, I, I, I felt you know what dude I guess you know, Look at my iPads You know they deserve it They also got an iPhone XS Max Oh nice From me Yeah All they did for the first week Was fucking computer because <laughs> they didn't know how to use it. No clue. I'm like, it's it's like a microwave, Dad. It's very easy. Fucking piece of shit, motherfucker. Like, yeah, pinchy urn. Fucking big urn over here, talking shit. <laughs> My Nina Linda always would say that. Ah, hi, Ernie. <laughs> ah, fucking big urn, talking shit. <laughs> and he goes, oh, always. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've talked about about that story before with my my, my uncle and my aunt. <laughs> well, a couple stories. Yeah, well, we can't. We can't. Apparently, he doesn't want Oxnard to know. No, he doesn't want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we tell Oxnard? Like, yeah. Who is that? Yeah, uh, Oxnard. She sounds fat. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, she's fat. <laughs> she's not talk because fat girls can't keep secrets. Cause fat girls can't keep secrets. <laughs> She's gonna put it on the ticky cock or whatever. Jesus <laughs> no, <Christ>. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking poor Oxnard, bro. Yeah. Oxnard gets a bad rap from me and my family. I, I build I, Oxnard as a person. Else, yeah. I think, yeah, nobody really likes Oxnard. It's really weird. Like, I, I actually enjoyed Oxnard. I, it's, uh, you know, she has her per- she has her perks. Yeah, she's cool. <laughs> she yeah. smells like chorizo sometimes, but. But sometimes it's nice. <laughs> when you're hungry, <laughs> time <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the smell of chorizo is nice oh. in the morning. <laughs> oh, no. I, when I gagged right now, I just thought of my sister putting her fingers in Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Dude, when you're telling that story, it, oh, my. <laughs> oh, man. I'm back. Jesus, you all right? Oh. <laughs> Telling like, what know. story? What what happened? Happy what are we getting all tangled up there? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I got tangled up. <laughs> I don't up. know. He's just. Uh, I didn't get you a better chair. I mean, you just. I, on it's on my to do list, and I keep on forgetting. I'm going to just order a freaking chair like that. Yeah, it's it's uh. Yeah. Or maybe I should order another chair because uh, it just makes more sense. Like I'll order a, a real like office chair. Uh, and I'll give you this one. That one's a spare chair. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you, you, you twenty bucks for you don't that. You have one. to give me anything for that, but a lot to invest into the big chair. No, no, no. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a gamer chair. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna be. Oh, that's what I need to get stuck in a gamer chair, bro. <laughs> just like, you're like, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Monsky. <laughs> like, who is this? Mongo. <laughs> like, oh, you change your name? Yeah, because I'm stuck in a chair, motherfucker. Get me. I don't know what happened there. Um, anyway, my uncle said no. Yeah. <laughs> he said, uh, no fucking way. No way. Don't be telling my business, girl. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Daddy. What were we talking about that before, before that? We were like on a roll. And I just felt like. Just fucking... <laughs> Your uncle just had to cock block our story. Yeah, I know. He's fucking he's blind, too. He just... We're talking about Christmas and Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, so I think Amazon. Yes. If you're buying shit, just all. Do you have an Amazon card? No. Get one. Oh, I thought my yeah, to do get cash back and all that yeah. shit, dude. No, to, nice. to be honest with you, is uh, I'm working on my credit. Actually, my credit has gone up in the last two months it's gone it's gone from like 520 to like 620 oh, that's not bad i know and uh, and i'm still working on it so i'm actually doing uh uh what do you call it a credit repair service credit repair so so th- in the last year year and a half i've been working on my credit uh i have credit cards that i use and i pay off and i use and i pay off and i use and i pay off um but it's only so much that my credit can go because i have 
collections and I have negative stuff on my right. thing. So I needed a credit repair. So and and they, a, they figured it out. Yeah. How do they do that? Is it magic? I don't know. We just give them a couple hundred bucks. And uh, like, hey, yeah. yeah, it's about eight hundred and some dollars. Ah, yeah, That's yeah, but they do it all for you. Yeah. I got, I got like a shitload of emails, like to Equifax, to TransUnion, to Experian. Um, they're, 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 what do you call it? They're um, challenging or what? What the hell are they? like? They're disputing. Disputing. They're right. disputing all these damn different things and da 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 da. da and yeah. And they come off. Yeah. So far, they know what to do. I, I have three collections on there. One's already come. One's already come off, and it's only been a month. Oh wow. It usually takes about a 30 to 90 days. Every, I um, was very irresponsible. Yeah, me too. <laughs> at one point in my life. And I am now at that point where everything fell off. Uh, and I'm like, ah, oh, mira, no. Yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of the time I, I had just quit my job yeah. and took a hit. <laughs> so uh, now I am, uh, I'm good. Right. Like everything came off. So I got an Amazon card. Trouble again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm at the point right now that I could, uh, I'm at, again, I'm at 620, 630, so I can probably get a card now. But the, I was told, like, when you're doing the process of uh, credit yeah. repair, you don't don't apply for anything. Yeah. So I'm just like, fine. I'm seeing it. So I'm like, yeah, let's see how much higher my score goes. Yeah. Just let, and, and that's so funny because in our 20s, we never would have thought the credit score meant anything. You know what's so crazy? You know who I'm learning all this stuff from? Uh, I think he's 24 years old. Really? Uh, yeah, I, I found him on TikTok. Uh, started following him. Like we messaged back and forth a couple times, and he, he's been like my mentor. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a twenty-four year old freaking kid from TikTok. Has like been my my credit mentor. You know, I, I man, I, wa- I really really want to get into that. Yeah. Like learning like what the stuff learning stuff on TikTok. Right. I saw a kid last night. Um, he posted something about a, a famous um, burial places. And he said, uh, Wyatt Earp is buried here. And John John DiMaggio. And I'm like. <laughs> DiMaggio. Yeah. John DiMaggio. I, I, I had to comment and be like, son, please tell me in your own words who John DiMaggio is. And uh, and then he said, I knew I was going to get shit for that. I'm like, yeah, because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So it's hard for me to, to, to say. To watch these TikTokers and, and say, think oh, I'm serious? yeah, they know what they're talking. No. Yeah. When you leave chicken bones all over my green room, I have a problem with that. Right, right. <laughs> I don't take you seriously. Uh, lot, lots of uh, lots of things on TikTok, though. Yeah. A lot of, lot of cool things. Yeah. Um, WrestleMania is coming up, so I'm thinking of starting my TikTok channel up again and doing uh, pro wrestling stuff. There you go. Uh, I only had one video that, that did... They got a thousand views. The rest of them got a couple of hundred. Yeah. Not like Aurelio's. That dude, he gets millions of views. Have you seen his stuff? No. It's uh, oh, just the ones that you repost. I've seen. He he has one that, that got over like three million views. It went viral. I'm like motherfucker. That's amazing. Uh, my videos don't do anything like that. Right. Because it's a niche. It's it's like it's it's a niche thing. You gotta like like pro wrestling to like my shit. Right. Seven in the morning. I do radio this morning. I know. Uh, and tomorrow you, too. And you can do radio tomorrow too. And he told you eight o'clock. Yeah, uh, eight o'clock. I gotta be at work at eight. I know. Fuck, man. It's all right. Be in there, because we could uh, we could go tag team him again. I'll be nice this time. Are you gonna go with? Uh, no. Oh, by yourself. Mm-hmm. Now, but uh, last week the the podcast went flawless because you were editing. And now I'm editing. Now that was no. I took a lot of shit out, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I took I took a probably a good twenty minutes of stuff out, yeah. dude. Because there was some stuff in there. I was like, oh, we can't do that. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, I, I no. noticed because we were there for like an hour and a half, and then yeah. when I got it back, it was like forty nine minutes. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> oh, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took it took me two days to do it because I was busy with auditions. I'm like, dude, he's never gonna trust me with this again if I don't get this in today. <laughs> And so I was like, I have to get. And then when I knew you were at work, I was like, okay, I have eight hours from this point to get this. Oh, the one of your ass gonna be like, uh, what are you doing today? Are yeah, we'll turn you off, bro. <laughs> I'm not till six. All right, thanks. <laughs> I made sure at four fifty five that motherfucker hit your mailbox, dude. <laughs> All done. Did it sound good though? It sounded great. Yeah, you, you taught me how to edit, so that's why it's uh, it probably sounded similar to to the things. Mm, yeah, it sounded good. <laughs> it sounded good. I uh, I'm not a fan of editing. No, no one uh, is. I, uh, no, dude, I didn't realize that shit, dude. It fucking sucks. But here we Very are. tedious. Hey, but it's part of the it's part of what we do. Right? Yeah. So yeah. it's. Um, I don't mind it though. I don't like it, but I don't mind it. No. To be honest with you, I kind of missed it for not doing it for so long. I'm like, oh, I kind of like editing. Now that I'm doing it again, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> you know, something, and we don't have to talk about this, but you, uh, you're like, then why are we talking about it? Uh, <laughs> the Not Your Average Radio shirts. Yes, bro. You don't have any more of yours? 
I might have one or two. I have four. Yeah. And those are my favorite shirts. I know right now I'm not wearing it, but yeah, uh, I've never seen you wearing it. No, yeah, you have. I used to take pictures of them all the time. Look, bro, I'm at the grocery store. Yeah. People would ask me, "Hey, what's that shirt?" Ain't none of your fucking business because I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> um. So now it's like, uh, yeah, those, those are my favorite shirts. I think I want to get some more made. The, the the type of shirt is your favorite shirt, or just because it has the, no, the, the logo? logo, everything. Oh. It's perfect. It's the right size. It's right. the right, the type of shirt. Because some shirts... Um, what, what are those shirts called? The pros? The, oh, yeah, those suck, dude. No, the, 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 that's, what those shirts, that's what those shirts are. No, not those, bro. I forgot what they're called. Hey. Excuse, excuse us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, pro Club. Those shirts aren't pro clubs. Oh, bro. okay. <clears throat> pro clubs are the worst of the oh, worst. They're very mind. thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very, they're very heavy. I don't like wearing them. Um, and then some people have to put them on that shirt. I'm like, no, yeah. dude, that's fucking don't do that. I wonder if Vato's still making those shirts. It was the guy, the Vato in LA. I actually, I gotta hit up somebody to make some shirts for me. Oh. Uh, because I'm since I'm going back to El Centro, I yeah. wanna uh, kind of double up on my paycheck a little bit and sell those. Uh, Ever been with a fat? There you go. That's a that's a good shirt, bro. <laughs> A lot of people would say no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Go ahead. No, no, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to get some more shirts, man. Oh, that's, that's what you want to do? Yeah, get, yeah. Some get some shirts, bro. I know who I can go to, but I just don't know about the, the, the quality. Ah. Do you ever, how do you, do you mute it and then go back to it and cut it? Or do you, uh, so you know where you're at? You cut it immediately. So I always mute it. And so I have a, a, a line to stop. And so, so if I, because if I eat, cut it right out, it just goes from, yeah, so, yeah, so, or so, yeah, so, ah, it's just like, what the fuck, what happened right there? <laughs> well, I did do that one on purpose, though, where everybody, you said something, I cut it out, and everyone's like, oh my God, right, and right, we right. both did it. Z yeah. and I were like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, so the people were like, what the hell happened? Yeah, you got to yeah. sign up for Patreon for that one. <laughs> right, right. The unedited uh, one. Unedited now. We can't even on Patreon. No, 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 <laughs> we can't no, even do that no, one on no, Patreon. No, no. Maybe OnlyFans. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I just edit it. I just go with that little, like, I zoom it in. Like, once I, like, listen to where I'm going, then I'll zoom it in. This way, like, basically that, that little part is, like, the whole screen. And then I'll just, like, play with it. And I'll just be like, okay, what is it? From this point to this point, I could take out, and then it'll make sense. You can play with it anytime you want, Daddy. <laughs> uh, you're so nice. I try, Daddy. I try. It's, uh, it's a gift, honestly. Damn, it's going fast. It's, uh, time flies when you're having fuck. Yeah, we're having a lot of fuck. Mucho fucky. Fuck well, well, fuck well, right now it's at 56 minutes. By the time I'm editing like those four things, it's going like, <laughs> to be like 30. <laughs> We're down to 16 minutes. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? What happened? <laughs> there was a lot of the, a lot of good stuff. A lot there. of fucky fucky in there. <laughs> Absolutely. See, also tomorrow, um, not tomorrow, this Wednesday. I, I should be, I should, this should be up by Tuesday night. So Wednesday night, uh, comedy show, Levity yeah. Live. Oxnard Levity Live. It's going to be a hit. Yes. We're excited. Oxnard Levity Live, the good, the bad, and the funny with Phil Medina. That's me. And my good friends will all be there. This is a big benefit show for the American Cancer Society. For the first time, I have said, eh, fuck it. <laughs> I, uh, I, I feel blessed. I feel uh, good. I am donating my entire check to the American Cancer Society, and I would love nothing more for you guys to support. Go to Oxnard Levity Live, uh, improv.com slash Oxnard. Search for the good, the bad, and the funny with Phil Medina and purchase your tickets. They're only $20. Come out and LOL as much as you want for a great cause. And that's fake news. <laughs> this, is not the first, this is not the first time that you've done this. So you've done this multiple times. I don't, you know, what? I'm really, okay, I feel weird about this shit. And this is why. Um, I see a lot of people, on, which I'm staying away from social media, by the way. I'm not a fan of it. The only reason I'm telling people I'm giving my check away is to encourage them to to come to come and support. Yeah, that's absolutely. that's it. I do a lot of things that I don't talk about. It and you know that, and it drives me fucking nuts when people will put on on Facebook, which I think Facebook is a fucking disaster. I bought a homeless person a cup of coffee. Today. Right, do nice stuff, but promote it. But you gotta put, dude. I don't give a fuck. You don't know what I've done because I don't need to tell you what I've done. Right. Um, it drives me bananas. And and the fact that um, <clears throat> I don't tell anybody about what I donate or my time or what projects I've, I've been involved in. Because that's that's between me and God and uh, or the universe, however you look at it. 
I, I one of the biggest things is my mom always taught me this, and, and I'm sure you brought up similar. Don't do nice things to get recognized. Do right. nice things to do nice things. Right. Um, when I see people on TikTok again, hey, I'm going to buy all of her tamales. I go fuck yourself. You know, because probably that might even be set up, but you're making yourself look good because you just gave a, a woman who's struggling money. So let me pat myself on the back. I go fuck off. Just give her the money. Why is there got to be cameras there? And I'm really passionate about that because I love to give. I love to, 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 to make people smile, do the best I can with that. But the minute that I start saying, hey, look at me, look what I'm doing. Right, right. And, that, and that, please, unless anyone thinks that's what I'm doing by saying, hey, I'm donating my whole check, that is just to motivate you to spend $20 to come to the show. If you can't come, you don't have to come. Make a donation to the American Cancer Society. Um, again, um, this, uh, this, this is a, 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 a near and dear thing to my heart, and I would love to help out with it. But uh, if you guys do something nice or something, don't don't put it out there. That's that's so bullshit, dude. I, I hate that. Oh, we took we took sixty people homeless people lunch today. Why are you telling me that? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck that you felt good about that. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah, am I wrong? No, you're right. You, do you see that shit a lot? Yes. It's annoying. Yeah, especially right now with all the social media, how popular everything is. It's like, oh, look at me. Let me. Look at me, like, uh, giving this homeless, like, money, da da da, da. yeah. Yeah, let me give this homeless vat some money. Hey, look. Oh, here, bro. This is so you could go get something to eat. Right. And no, it's they, not. It's so you could get likes. Right. And then the camera turns off. It's like, hey, bro, can you back? Give my yeah, money Yeah, hey, that's Amazon money, bro. That's uh, <laughs> It's got the, the little Chinese thing on the on the front. It's fake money, bro. Yeah. That's stupid. But anyway, that's just how I feel about it. And uh, so, no, it, uh, it, whether it's fake news or not, <laughs> I just I don't put it out there. Right. That's all. And, you uh, said, I don't do this. I'm like, well, yes, you do. <laughs> Not to get into specifics, but yes, right. you do do this stuff. You know, and, and it's just, and, and, and the reason I keep quiet about it is because I do feel blessed. I do feel that even though we just got done talking about how I'm getting kicked in the fucking balls every day, it doesn't matter. You tell me another person from Madera, California that has done the things that I have done, uh, get double represented by never, ever, 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 ever doing voiceover work. I've got one of the best voiceover agents in the country, and she's a hard ass. I like that, kind of. And uh, I'm blessed. Those opportunities that I'm being afforded are are not not everybody gets those. Right. I'm a leg up, a step ahead of a lot of people. Well, why can't I help somebody get a step up? And I don't need to brag about it on social media. That's all. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Let's go get some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing eggs. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to get eggs then. You ready to go? Yeah, man. Let's get the fuck out of here, bro. All right, man. It is the Phil and Show here on Not Your Average Radio. Uh, by the time you listen to this, Wednesday night, uh, February 23rd, Levity Live, Oxnard, California, uh, American Cancer Society. Very excited to support that cause. Also, March 25th. March 25th. March 25th. March 25th. Uh, uh, Camarillo, California. So, Nessa Select um, Hotel. More information to come with that. But um, yeah, we're we're uh, we're starting we're starting uh, comedy shows in different locations. Yes. And we're also uh, we heard it yesterday was yesterday last week was Z. Uh, we'll have a, another comedy show with them on 420. Yes, we will. And don't forget too, if you guys want to sign up to have your own podcast, yes, on Not Your Average Radio. Just drop us an email, notyouraveragradio.com, info. and info. And now, see, I'm, I'm learning, Daddy. That's good. It's good. Info, info at notyouraveragradio.com. Info, notyouraveragradio.com. Sign up. Uh, we will do all the work for you. All you guys got to do is bring your talent. Sign up and uh, be get on the platform. It's uh, we'll take care. We'll do the hard work. You just bring your talent. Because I've already just in the last week we've spent what like. Double what we what we charge on, yeah. on equipment and stuff Absolutely. like that. Yeah, yeah, so, we have the equipment to make oh, your yeah. your podcast sound great. Yeah, so you're gonna pay a lot less than we've already paid for yeah. all this equipment plus all the years of doing this. Right. Yeah, just and come. Just hard. Come. come hard and and just bring your talent. That's it. That's all we want. We want your talent at notyouraveragradio.com. We're currently looking for programming, so come on in. That's all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is another episode of the Phil and Monsky Show. 
right here on Not Your Average Radio, on iTunes, on Spotify, on iHeartRadio, on Google Play, and a few other places, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyways, ready? Let's go. All right. Hey, thank you again for tuning in. Not Your Average Radio. We'll be back next week with Z. Make sure you support the comedy shows, and uh, see you guys next week. We're out of here. Peace. Peace.